Alright, we're just getting settled in here. It's the last evening before the youth weekend starts tomorrow. So the guns are gonna start firing. So I'm gonna try my food plot one time, get a ton of activity here. About 445 hours, so I think it's just be hitting it hard. Got in here late from work and uh my camera lane was covered by a big old limb, so I spent it breaking the limb, made a huge commotion. So I'm trying to be quiet, and it's uh, getting close to time now. So Something big just ran off right there. I'm gonna shut up. Hopefully we have something come in. Something's coming right now. We're leaving. Perfectly cool afternoon. The sun's just gone behind the trees. And Something's out there, hang on.
that air. It took like 10 minutes to get there. It's just kind of... The first time I shot, she didn't even move. This time, it let out of here like crazy. But my knock lit up that time. As soon as I started doing my interview, they started coming in. I could hear them. I had to cut it short. Still early, maybe something else would come in. I, I, I don't know what happened. Youth gun season starts tomorrow, and Monday starts real gun season for two only. I want to try to get in here for it. It's hard to get one before they get jumpy, but nobody came in perfect, just like I wanted. Earlier than I thought they'd get here. I mean, they were here as soon as I got set up. It took me a while to get set up, but happened perfect. I just my food lot's a long way away. Put in a new spot this year with new stuff, and they're killing it. But where they come out, it's about 50 yards, and um, she was working her way away from me. So first time was about 48 yards, and the second time was about 43. Both of them went left. I don't know. Go home, practice some, and see what's happening. I haven't shot that distance a lot this year in my backyard. I shoot 30 all the time. So the second one, I just, at 43, I just used my 30 and aimed high because there's, there's not much difference. I've shot 40 to make sure I'm sighted in. And it's only about two inches lower, so I just aimed to it. I just looked at where my 30 was and concentrated on it. Just thinking maybe my form was off or something, but it went left too. Anyway, it's getting dark. Family sit down, I got dinner ready, so I'll start backing up. Alright Eliza, are we out here doing a test? Are we playing in the cold? What are we doing? Are we gonna shoot the bow? What do we shoot with the bow? Do we shoot our deer? What is it, deer? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna shoot from up there. So we're gonna go all the way up there. On top of the porch. Yeah, way up there. Come all the way down here and we're gonna try to recreate our shot last night. We're gonna hit the target right here. That should be about 40 yards. Of course, last night was 48 and 43. We're gonna see how it goes. What you think? Daddy's a little upset with the yes airplane, huh? Daddy's a little upset after last night, so we're gonna see if I just made a bad shot or if something's off with my bow. Too dark last night, but here's the next morning. We're gonna see what happens. 39 yards, which we had 48 and 43 last night. So I wanted to shoot right because that's how I was shooting last night. So as far as I can go this way. They can try and go a little bit farther that way, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna um, I got my camera two down there rolling so we can get a look at the target. All right, 39 yards. That looked like it was good height, just a little left, but just a couple inches left, not two feet left. There's what I did last night. Smell something burning. That right there is exactly what I did last night. It was last night of bow season technically. I bow hunt all year long, but guns started firing today. I knew they were hammering that food plot and that, that late afternoons. So I was really wanting to get one. That's what I did right there. Blew that shot.